in this question it is given that let the six numbers a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 be in ap and a1 plus a3 is equal to 10 if the mean of these six numbers is 19 by 2 and their variance is sigma square then the value of 8 sigma square is equal to we have to find the correct choice for these six numbers let the first term be a which is equal to a1 and common difference is say d then according to this condition we get a plus a plus 2d equal to 10 that is a plus d equal to 5 and because mean of all these terms is 19 by 2 means a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 by 6 is equal to 19 by 2 which means 6 by 2 into 2a plus 5d by 6 is equal to 19 by 2. This implies that 2a plus 5d equal to 19. This is one relation between a and d. This is second relation between a and d. That is I get a plus d equal to 5 and 2a plus 5d equal to 19. Now multiply this equation by 2 and subtract. You will be getting 3d equal to 9 that is d equal to 3 hence a is equal to 2. Hence I can say the numbers are 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 and 17. Before I proceed further, if I use the normal way of finding the variance, then it will be lengthy. For smart way, I will say, remember this formula that variance of first n natural numbers is n square minus 1 by 12. It is a standard formula. You must know it. This is a variance of first n natural numbers. As so far the numbers I have got are 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 and 17. And I know that from a given data of numbers, if I subtract the same quantity, the variance or standard division remains same. Therefore the variance of these numbers, I am going to subtract 2 from everyone why i am going to subtract 2 from everyone you will understand afterwards first let me subtract 2 from all these numbers that is i will be getting 0 3 6 9 12 and 15 the variance of these numbers and variance of these numbers will be same and because the variance of these numbers was sigma square therefore the variance of these numbers will be also sigma square and you must know this thing also if for a given set of numbers if i divide all the numbers of the data by a constant number lambda that is the new numbers will be 0 3 by lambda 6 by lambda 9 by lambda 12 by lambda and 15 by lambda the variance of these numbers will be surely sigma square upon lambda square. You must know this thing also. And this thing I am going to use further. Now I divide all the numbers by 3. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Therefore the variance of these numbers will be sigma square upon 3 square that is 9 and 
now i add one in all these numbers by adding or subtracting a fixed number from all these makes no difference in variance i'm adding one i'll be getting the numbers as 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and i have already told you above that the variance of first and natural numbers is n squared minus 1 by 12. Hence, the variance of these numbers will be 6 squared minus 1 by 12. This is equal to sigma squared by 9 because the variance of these numbers is also sigma squared by 9. Hence, the value of sigma squared I get 35. 12 into 9 that is the value of 8 sigma square will be 35 by 12 into 9 into 8 that is 8 sigma square is equal to 35 into 3 into 2 that is 8 sigma square is equal to 210 as the correct choice is second choice.